Hello. The game has started. My opponent has opened with a bingo, deviled and scored a whopping 80 points. I have to look at um, if I have a bingo here. I have Avenge on my rack, but and Avenged, Vendage. Do I have anything through the eye for a four timer? Vagina. Forty. Pretty good um, draw there. I have a fairly balanced rack, and I'm looking at sevens first of all. Opponent has blocked one of the D's, but there's still a D and an E available to play through. I've got overeats from the V, and I don't think there's any point in looking for a better bingo because there won't be a better bingo because there's no four timer available. I draw some uh, <coughs> clunky consonants, but I should be able to score. I don't think there'll be a bingo here. Opponent has exchanged three tiles. Now there's a juicy hot spot at 8A across onto this E. So I'll be looking to place either my H or my K at D8. Now the other option would be playing down next to overeats, getting a parallel play doubled. And there's another hot spot here as well. So there's some good spots on this board currently for my K. But I think Peak, no. There, I thought Peak took an E, but I'm mixing it up with something else now. What other options are there? Um, so I've got um, I've got peak here at D one down. That's a thirty eight point play. I quite like this, and I've got a H play for next turn for a minimum of thirty points. So I like this one. Uh, not a great pickup. I haven't drawn any vowels. Well, just the one E. Opponent scores a monster 75 points by getting the Z doubled. So that hurt. Um, I have Henry here, which would score quite nicely for 42. Yeah. Going with that. Now the B and the C don't go fantastically together, but there might be a bingo. Um, car boots? No, I don't think so. Opponent scores 36 at the top there, regains the lead. Now I've got the boat. I don't, um, I don't think cab boots is good. But I have the boat component of a word, so what about um, and I'll 
also have the cat component. Just not seeing um, good options there. Now I'll still be able to score, but I feel there'll be a compound word here that I'll be missing perhaps through the R. So what about, uh, well I suppose there's just OB there for 21, um, 26 here, good rack leave, pretty good I'd say, I'll go with this, 26 points, not a good pickup, scores a dead level, but I drew poorly there, and opponent has exchanged, um, so scoot, I've got the scoot, cat mm, to scat at, now I have the oct prefix, so octo, Octo rats core caro tats no core tosat um track track tos no just not seeing good options there now I've got um, Cobb and Carr, I don't like keeping two O's and two T's, it just feels wrong to do that, um, but the score is pretty good, so I'm going with it. Okay, so no bingos here, that's for sure. Uh, egoists, that's been taken. Um, what about Henry's? Henry takes an S, I think. Just an S. So, um, Uh, so what about, uh, oh, just nothing great here, um, G-O-T, but it uh, just doesn't score much, um, G-O-T, not a great score. Oh, out hits. Now, does that play anywhere? No. That is unfortunate. Out hits. Will opponent create an opening? Opponents exchanged again. Fob is no good. Out. Stoutish. 
doubtish. Yeah, that's worked out nicely. Now there is a Q hotspot, opponent likely to take it. Is there a Q U play through this U? Very unlikely. Uh, that's a shame that I've only got one. Okay, opponent has been goad. Um, money, M U, a penny. But what about. Um, yeah, opponent's caught right up there. I just I might just play chin for uh, thirty two or look at this as an option. There's so many eyes to come. If I keep the Q in the N, there's a likelihood I could play Sank C I N Q if opponent doesn't take the spot. So what about but I don't want to use the N. Yumps. Yeah, that'll work. Yumps for 36. Now I do draw the N. So Sank is still available for a healthy 45 points. If opponent takes the spot, I've still got 32 here. Do I have any better Q spots. That is, oh, look at this, chin for 37. That actually might be better than the Sang spot, only because I'd be blocking uh, two bingo lanes, one onto the Y, the other one through the R. So I'm tempted to do chin. But Sank is such a good score. Forty-five. Yeah, I think I go for the score here. Sank for forty-five. Now I've drawn an X, so I have E X and X I. Jug takes an A. Opponent has exchanged three. Um Rec sign is good. <laughs> I think I'll go with X here. Or Nix, obviously, is better. Nix and XI. 55. Okay, now opponent will likely bingo. I thought he will, but I've got to come back play lighter um, and retile. Ah, oh, retile doesn't work. I don't have an extra E and it wouldn't fit anyway. But let's go with lighter for 26. Yeah. I've drawn eyes, which is not good. Opponent's still behind. And I don't think he's likely to win. So I think I've got the game wrapped up. Now, how best... Oh, Murray is good. I can go out with Murray. That's good. So just thank my opponent. What a close game. Especially at the end there. Now let's see what we missed. Wow. Um... So, opponent had a few options. Develd with an E as well as Devilled with an I. Okay, so those were the two on, op on offer. Just want to see if there are any others. No, it's just those two spellings. So, Devilled and Develd. Opponent goes... And then Vagina was best for the four-timer through the eye. So that was 40 points. Then opponents got Fob for 27. That looks okay. Overeats was the highest scoring bingo. 
but roseate was also good um, pluralizing fob roseate in two spots so overeats comes down and then opponent's got raid eye to get rid of two eyes but I think he exchanges here yes he exchanged peak was best for 38 I thought there might be a better play onto this E but apparently not and now opponent's got some strong scoring potential and gets the top play of 75 points taking a small lead 32 point lead oh ab henry's fantastic from the a that's a word that i do know um it's a unit of um i think it's maybe an electric charge measure of some type of power output something like that to do with energy and power um so it's the reversal. Wow, Ab Henry's and in two spots. Okay, from the A at A8. That would have been huge. I've always wanted to play that word as well. So a shame that I missed it. I went with Henry, which also is the electrical charge measure, whatever it is. Now Wadi for 36 was best. Pana went with Warped. No bingo here, but Boa for 26 was best. Interesting. I thought there might be a better play. Bustor scores more, but the equity score better because of that strong rack leave. So happy with Boa. Opponent um, had Iwi for 19, but it exchanged. And now I've got Costa. Yeah, so pluralizing Henry. I should have done that because I knew that um, Henry took an S, as I mentioned during the game. So a shame to have missed a 42-point play. I went with Carr. Now opponents got some scoring tiles, 34 on offer. He goes with more for 24. Now, got was best for 12. I took quite a while with this move. And I just couldn't find a decent play. And as you can see, that is the, the top play that Analyzer is suggesting. So it felt weak at the time. But I now realize that it, it wasn't as bad as previously thought. Durian, um, 22. Opponent went with an exchange. Now, Stoutish, the only bingo. I spotted out hits, but no place to play that. And Stoutish came down for 72. Now, Cohorns, opponent spots the only playable bingo. So well done through the H and that gives me a nice um, well query oh where was <gasps> through the E that was a bad miss there was Keen and Quern I just didn't even ex consider playing a cross that would have been fantastic 78 points that's like a large bingo score and getting rid of your problem tiles, the Q and the Y. Um, yeah, that that's remiss. Anyway. Oh, I've jumped ahead. I went with Yumps. Now, opponent's got Jug for 35. That seems best. And Sank for 45 was best here. So at least I did redeem myself somewhat. Now opponent's got Militia. Nice three-eye play. Not a bingo, but a 30-point play from the M. 
So that was all the way across onto the triple word square, militia. And uh, he goes with an exchange. Now I've got a big X play, Nix. But Rax at F4. Oh, Core and Rax and X. Wow. Extra three points. Um, actually, when I'm looking at the remaining tiles, you've got a whole whack of eyes there. So there's no way I want to keep two on my rack. If I can get rid of an extra eye, I'm willing to sacrifice three points for sure. So I'm still happy with that play. And that comes down um, there. Now opponent's got um, patella, which I think is a bone in the leg or the kneecap. Um, patella for 71. And a few other bingos. Talage, galetta, patella, and laterals through the R. And day teller, day teller, pat patellar as well. Nice. Anyway, opponent gets the uh, higher scoring one down, patella, and now I've got liter for twenty six, but miltier from the M, and that would have given opponent finis F I. NIS. He would have scored quite well there. So I think it's better that I played down the bottom left because there's not much he can do apart. Yeah. So lighter seems fine. Uh, and then opponent's got ifs for 30. He would have probably scored something similar down there anyway, so much of a muchness. Um, but the thing is, he ifs left him with a, a pretty crappy set of tiles. So ifs, and then Murray to go out for seven. So that was fine. And um, opponent had those tiles left on the rack. So 509 to 462, a pretty high scoring game. One or two misses there, Ab Henry's. Um, but then I also missed a query. That, that's a, yeah, a pretty bad miss. But that's how it goes with Scrabble. I mean, if you spotted the top moves every single time, it, it wouldn't be... Um, fun, but uh, sometimes it's nice to go through the analysis and um, see what you've missed and what you've got. So I uh, hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.